What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I was sent, not only for the purposes of the review, but to let them know any kind of feedback. And I figured why not make a video of it just because it's a really good platform to see the flaws and to make changes to their device. Now, Lost Vape has been around for a long time long time kind of on the higher echelon higher tier of devices that come from china if you've been living under a rock or in a cave for the past three months then you're probably not aware of about what i'm going to speak on which is the dna 250c replay rendition the high power dna color screen has been asked for for so long in the community everybody was tired of the 75c rendition so everybody just wanted more power and the color options and the temperature. Now, I feel that in the past few months, a lot of the people that were using temperature devices are not really using them anymore. Now, that's one thing that Evolve brought back into the scene is, okay, if temperature was a little confusing to you before, now we're gonna make it that much easier to where you can record and then do that hit nonstop. It seems like a lot of people think that no dry hits is a new thing. It's not. Ever since temperature configuration has been out, it's always been that way, where it doesn't allow you to hit the coils where they're dry. They made it a lot more simpler. Now, I'm not a fan of temp. I don't like temp, but you can use stainless steel on temp. So what I did for this is I used it for three days consecutively, which you're gonna see with the hit count to see how this replay function works. Cause it's not really about the mod as the mod is something that's already been out that people know, which is the Paranormal 75C. Kind of took the place of the Therion and I'm not 100% sure if they're still doing the Therion. There may be some designs and configurations of the box itself that may change upon release. However, the chip right now where it's at is in its permanent state and has been released to multiple vendors already. So you're gonna start seeing more vendors using the 250C. I really don't care whether it's a 75C, a 250, a 167, because I use the lower amounts of power but this is nice for someone that wants to use more power. And the amount of volts you get off of this is absolutely phenomenal. One thing to mention about the replay mode in the new 250C is going to be released to all other devices. So any feature that you see on this should go on to older 75Cs. I have kind of a good relationship with Lost Vape. Lost Vape is one of those companies where if I do a review and it's not so positive, they'll still send a product. This is a rare, rare case in China. Again, we've been through this a thousand times, but there's a lot of companies that see a review that's negative and they're like, oh, we're not sending it anymore. Lost Vape doesn't do that. Lost Vape actually wants to improve their product to make it that much better. There's been a couple of devices where I've called them out, but guess what? Right off the top of my head, the Mod Defined Series, if you haven't seen that review, I'll post the link right there. They actually responded and said, listen, we know about the situation. We're fixing it so it doesn't happen anymore. They didn't get ass hurt about it. They weren't like, oh, no, he didn't. We're not sending it. No, no, they didn't do that. You know why? Because that's not professional to do that. We're not here for professionalism because when you start watching my videos, professionalism goes right out the door. What we are going to be going over is the Paranormal DNA 250C by Lost Vape. Sadly enough, there is no scratch and sniff on this, so I know everybody wants to hear what the scratch and sniff flavor and scent it is, but I guess we're just going to have to lick the box to figure it out. So without further ado, let's flip it. What's up there, Mama Earlope? Everybody knows this device. Anybody that's been vaping knows Therion, knows the drone, knows this company as a whole. If you don't know it, you may be familiar with the company of Mod Defined. This may or may not be the final packaging. The goal behind this is to really show you some of the highlights of the 250C and of course the mod. Paranormal 75C and the 250C are almost identical on a side-by-side -side comparison. On the front, you're gonna have two of their flagship designs, the black gunmetal version and the silver with the wood, with the carbon, with the, there's just a lot going on. On the bottom, it's gonna show you the color configuration that you purchased, gunmetal, black, gray, Kevlar, and then your UPC here. On the back, that's it, no scratch and sniff, sorry guys. First opening up, you're gonna get this card. Now this card is going to explain what replay is, and I'm also going to show you. Contrary to popular belief, a lot of people think that you could use the replay mode with Canthal. Now you can, but you can't. The reason why you can't is it's designed to be a temperature style of vaping. That's what it is. Now you can use a hybrid of Canthal and Nickel. 
or canthal and stainless steel or canthal and titanium the way that i understand it i haven't tried to really do a hybrid of different metals for a coil but basing it off of down here it's only ni200 and canthal where you'll be able to use non-viable coils as you see up here it says viable coils and this is the metals that they're talking about using any combinations of temp sensing coils so i i assume that's nickel and titanium but that's not listed down here or stainless steel and titanium which is right here. I forget how to say this. Nifenthal, Nifethal, and then stainless steel. Maybe you could use any of those. But down here it says any combination of temp sensing coils and non temp sensing coils. In order for replay to work and actually pick up the coil, it has to have some type of metal that can be temperature controlled. <laughs> One of the problems I had with this original feature right here is this was an e-scribe, but anytime you tried to use the device using Boost as an option, it would tell you that you can't use it for anything made in America. So it was a little bit of an issue, but it did come on some 75Cs that came out of Lost Vape. Now this is a staple in the whole 250C design. This is kind of the big deal that a lot of people are talking about is this whole power bank situation. Basically what you do is there's an option where you plug your USB in and then you use a male to a female adapter and then you're able to charge your phone. I don't know why anybody would use their mod as a power bank. I guess if you're on the fly you need power right now, that's an option. But then of course you do that, you're taking away from the power that the mod has and this is only series... 18650s. It's not like it's dual or triple 2700s. So the battery life on those two alone for the amount of power that you're going to be putting through a 250C, I don't know if it's really going to be applicable and make any sense for you to use this as a USB power bank. But if you were so inclined, you could so choose to do so. Inside the box, it's going to be the mod. Now there's going to be some scratches on here just from me using it very, very rigorously. Micro USB, typical lost vape. They also have an adapter. So if you want to use a USB charger to charge, you can with this. Plug this in, and then you plug whatever you want to use as a charger right there. Keep in mind though, you can't plug in the mod to charge it while you're doing this. It's not that type of power bank. Then a suction cup, in case you want to get the doors off the side. I think this is something that I realized a little bit later in the review when I was doing the original Paranormal, how to hell to get those doors off. And that's what that is for. And then you see carbon fiber doors, which are the doors that I'm going to go with. Pretty sure that anytime you buy a device from them, you get this at as an option. Lost Vape is no longer written on the panels. That's something that they did in order to make the device look much cleaner and not put branding all over it. I think some companies should take a note of that. Vandy Vape who puts their name on friggin' cotton. A manual, which is going to explain a little bit about the mod. Listen, if you wanna to touch up on the manual, then absolutely, but if you're going to look up how to configure 250Cs or configure eScribe or use your own theme, I recommend not reading this and just looking online because you're gonna find more about that than you will inside of this manual because there's only so much they could fit inside of this manual. And systematically enough, the whole manual is in English. What? Then you get a warranty card. I've seen people have the best experience with Lost Vape and their warranty. I've also seen people that had absolutely horrible experiences with Lost Vape and the warranty. It's kind of a hit or miss. However, I will tell you from my experiences alone that Lost Vape has not told the consumer, listen, go back to the company you bought it from, they'll give you a new one. Usually Lost Vape is like, send us a receipt and we'll take care of it. Again, that's my experiences. I can't speak on behalf of other people that I don't know. And then what their warranty does not cover. What we're looking at on the left hand side is the Paranormal 75C. This is the gunmetal with the rat tail thing. I don't remember what that's called. Pearl fish. Now this is the carbon fiber rendition. One thing I didn't like on the original Paranormal is I got it silver with the wood and the carbon fiber. Absolutely too much going on. Also, I was not a huge fan of this amber ring here, but they still have that same situation. However, side by side, the dimensions are absolutely identical. Same size that fits on this is the same size that's going to fit on that. And for some reason, this door keeps on opening. The 75C chip and the 250C are similar, but they're not a direct drop-in replacement. First thing I'm gonna do before we go over the mod is take these doors off.
As you notice my door keeps opening on the bottom. I'll explain why in a little bit. Now that looks a whole lot better than those wooden panels do. That's a really huge plus that that does come with it. I don't like the carbon fiber here because it doesn't really match the door, but then again, I don't know why Lost Vape is including those panels, but it's really nice that they include the carbon fiber. So I don't really want to go too much over the mod because everything that I mentioned on the original is going to be exactly... See, the door keeps friggin' opening on this. There you go, Lost Vape. That is something that you guys need to adjust. I can tell you right off the jump, without batteries in it. This door is a lot more snappier and firmer once it goes in. Everything the same as the original. Let me just show you what a 25 looks like on here. No problems with the 25 whatsoever. Just like that. So you could fit a 26. You'll have no problems with overhang. 28, eh, you're gonna have a little bit. Now again, um, when you get this, this battery door is probably going to be fixed. In their defense, when you put 18650s in here, this does not slide open so easily. But if I have it on here, I go like that, it just it opens right up. Versus on a 75, if I do that, it does absolutely nothing. 75, same situation, nothing. Once the batteries are in, fires right up doesn't open it needs to be adjusted a little bit more what I would recommend is over here where these latches are kind of bring them in a little bit deeper so it stops it from opening if you want to know how the 250c functions and a little tutorial on the chip alone just go ahead and click the link in the corner of the screen or in the description below I really don't want to make the rest of this video about the 250c any 250c you get is going to function just in the same as this is your fire button is very flush it has a nice click to it all your other buttons feel exactly the same as well before i bring it back on top i wanted to show you my theme that i put on there um now i don't know if you sat back and watched the whole tutorial how to use it but you'll see now that i am using my own theme right now we are in replay mode so we fire it now replay opens up hit it now you have little notes shows the power and now you're rocking it in replay mode to get it out you just hit it again and then you have the different profiles up here i wanted to show you the theme because this is something a little bit different you'll see my hits down here and then um little diagnostic sheet, hits, how long it's hit for, all that other yippity yap, don't talk back jack, but I'm gonna put it back into replay mode. Now you see a little guy down here, but once you go to replay, it changes to the record. Uh-oh. This is the Paranormal DNA 250C. Let's bring it on the top. Anybody want some chicken? All right, so here we are back on the top with the Lost Vape Paranormal DNA 250C with a 502 with stainless steel coils sitting on the top. Now I'm using replay mode. And the reason why I'm using replay mode is because that's kind of what this chip is designed to do. Sure, I could do 200 watts with it. And the thing is with a 250C is you could put three batteries in it, get 300 watts. You could use a LiPo, do 400. I have no idea why you would need that power. That is absolutely astronomical amounts of power. I'm not quite sure if the more power you put into it, it will output more. In theory, the answer is yes, but that's not always the case because of transformers. Now, I'm rocking this at a replay of 58 watts. Let me show you some of the vape production. So, I want to put this out there. I've never been a big fan of temp. Just, I don't like it. And the main reason is when temp first launched, it was all about nickel, then it was about titanium. I don't really want to get into whether or not why I don't use nickel and why I don't use titanium, but I do use stainless steel on a case by case scenario. I don't like it in RTA, but I like it in RDA. I never really used knife and thaw, but there was another metal that I tried. I may not be saying that correctly, so I apologize in advance. The replay mode that I have running on here with my little musical notes, I like it. I like it a lot. What's cool about replay is just as if it was temp mode, it just makes it more of a basic, easier to function to use. And the fact that Lost Vape is one of the first companies, you know, we're not talking about high-end companies, we're talking about on a mass-produced scale for Lost Vape to be the first company to put the 250C in just wins. And the mod doesn't look that bad without those wooden panels that are in it. I think Lost Vape should just remove those wooden panels, put them in a silver option, and don't mix the wood with the carbon fiber. Like, it just does not look good. I know some people may look at it and be like, you know what, I love that look. Well, then hey. Listen, okay, good. I'm not a fan. Mm -mm. I would rather it be the way that it is or even that other pearl fish option. Or, you go, well, 
Problem is if you made that metal, that's gonna wear in a lot from the way you hold this. Now you could use the argument that you're gonna fire this with a trigger finger like that. I feel that this is designed because of the way that it's shaped for thumb fire, the DNA at this point, but it's an amazing chip. I've always loved DNAs, and for them to come out with a chip that has a lot of power, that has this replay function, a lot of people are gonna like this. I'm just gonna tell you now. I don't think there's gonna be many people that are gonna complain and not like this at all. So now as it's getting drier, the, the hit's not hitting as hard. Right now we have it in replay mode. Look. Oh. Probably helpful if it was in replay mode, right? See how it's just like burning whatever is left on there? Now once we put more juice on there. See how that works? So it works based off of the amount of juice that is on there. That is the same thing that temp mode has always done. It's just something people are now realizing that with replay mode. You got people coming in here trying to beatbox. I can't do shit making all this damn noise. Come on, man. What are you, Dougie Fresh? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, you know what? Go ahead. This is your time to fame. Use my channel for your beatboxing. Fucking people. Then you're playing with a coil with the cellophane and you're making all types of noise like we're in jail using the table. Come, come, come on, come on, man. Just stop. Shut up. Just shut up and shut off. Uh, yeah, let's go back to this device. So, how would I rate this device on a 0 to 10? Okay, we have to rate it based off the chip and the mod because this is kind of a flagship introduction to a mass-produced DNA 250C. First off, the chip, I'm gonna give like a nine, 9.5. You know what? No, fuck it. For the chip, I'm gonna give it a 10. For the chip, not, not the mod. Don't be like, oh, he says she has no nipple. That's not, I didn't say that. I didn't say anything about nipples. I'm gonna save that for the nipple review. <laughs> got nothing to do with shit uh the chip straight up a 10 there's i can't find any flaws with the chip itself it's that good it's functioning well i can't find any bugs so i feel that it was very thoroughly tested when it came out a 10 that's the chip now the mod that's housing that chip eight eight point five pretty high. And of course, it having a DNA 250C in there definitely helps. A couple things I need to fix is that ugly ass ring up here underneath the dripper. I don't know what that is, but that needs to go away. And the door, but the door only needs to be fixed when the batteries are out of it. Outside of that, I really, really like this mod. What Lost Vape needs to do that doesn't really have anything to do with this mod is bring back the matte black because that shit was sexy as hell. Let me show you what I'm talking about. They did this on the Therion. Wow. This is the matte black with the leather and the carbon fiber. Yo, what? This needs to come back as this thing is sexy as hell. But all in all, listen, solid device worth picking up when it does come out. I'm sure when it does come out, they may fix a little slight modifications here and there, but I'm pretty damn sure that this is close to being near produced. And I'll say this as a final statement. There hasn't been many times that Lost Vape has came out with products that were absolutely garbage. This is not garbage. This is good. I wish more companies would follow in this direction. Of course, it is a little bit pricier than the next, but anybody that knows Lost Vape knows that already, that they do have a little bit of a value involved with it. And the good thing is, even being mass produced, they still hold some of their original value. Versus if you bought, let's just say, I, I don't know, a Tesla Wii and you paid 50 bucks for it, it'll probably be worth 20 bucks after use. A Therion, you could still find use for 80, 90 bucks. Granted, it's not the same situation that it is when you got it, but it still retains value. So that is a huge, huge plus. I would have to say this is probably one of Lost Vape's best product next to this design. Wasn't a huge fan of the Therion just because of the way that the contacts are. It's just absolutely rough. They poured it over to the Paranormal. Not sure if they're making this in the 250C, but if they are, they need to make it just like this. What? You better get the hell out of here. I've kept it real. Have you? Jay's out.